new locator implant attachment is a super gingival attachment connection for endosseous implants that allows a patient to easily seat their overdenture without the need for accurate alignment of the attachment components. The locator attachment features a denture component with a skirt that easily locates the mating implant abutment. This self-aligning feature of the attachment aids the patient in seating their prosthesis in a similar manner as a guide plane created by a milled bar. The locator is a very low profile overdenture attachment for dental implants, especially for high profile designs like an external hex or spline connection. When comparing the height of the locator abutment on the left with other commonly used implant attachments, its abutment height of only 2.25 millimeters is the lowest connection available for externally hexed implants. With the locator denture cap male snapped onto the locator abutment, the total height of the attachment is still less than 3.25 millimeters on a hexed implant and only 2.5 millimeters on a non-hexed implant. Compared to other attachments, the complete locator implant attachment on the left saves from 1.7 millimeters to 3 millimeters of intercalusal space required. The locator attachment has a combination of inside and outside retention to ensure long-lasting performance. The internal drive design has minimal effect on wear of the nylon male. A special locator abutment driver is used to place the female abutment. It can withstand torque well above the 20 newton centimeters of force recommended to seat the abutment. Locator abutments are available in tissue cuff heights ranging from 1 mm to 4 mm. When the locator abutment is fully seated, there are no undercuts to present a problem during acrylic resin pickup of the male component. The locator male processing package consists of a black processing cap male, a full retention clear nylon replacement male, a light retention pink nylon replacement male, a white blockout spacer, and an extra light retentive blue nylon replacement male. The retentive nylon male remains completely in contact with the locator abutment while its metal denture cap has a full range of rotational movement over the male. This pivoting ability of the locator male allows a resilient connection for the prosthesis. The locator white nylon replacement male is used to restore a non-parallel implant with up to 10 degrees of divergence. The extended range green nylon replacement male, without the center post, can accommodate a divergent implant up to 20 degrees. This testing fixture demonstrates the maximum 40 degree angle between two implants that the green extended range male can handle. Bench testing has confirmed that even with this highly divergent condition, the locator male still lasts for 60,000 cycles of insertion and removal. The following step-by-step -step procedures and clinical case were photographed and provided courtesy of Dr. Alan Schneider from his private practice in Springfield, Virginia. This acrylic mandibular model is used to demonstrate the restoration of two externally hexed implants that have been placed in an elevated location at the same level as the surrounding gingiva. The locator abutment driver is the gold-colored portion of the locator core tool, which also contains a male removal tool and a male seating tool. The abutment driver is used by hand to insert the abutment into the implant and tighten it firmly. Higher torque tightening of the locator abutment can be achieved using a 30 newton centimeter torque wrench and a .050 or 1.25 millimeter hex tool insert. The backside of the locator abutment driver has an internal hex that is designed for the use of a torque wrench. A maximum of 30 newton centimeters of insertion force will prevent the abutments from loosening. The locator abutments maintain a very low profile, even on implants placed as shallow as those used in this demonstration model. Snap a locator parallel post onto each abutment to check that the implants are parallel. If the implants are not parallel, Zest Anchors provides an alignment pin and angle measurement guide that can be used to easily determine the degree of divergence of an implant fixture. The alignment pin has four different thread patterns that will match most types of implants on the market. Insert an alignment pin into each divergent implant. 
The angle measurement guide is held level with the path of the prosthesis insertion to determine whether the degree of divergence for each implant will require the use of a locator white or green replacement male. A locator impression coping and abutment analog are used for the indirect processing of the denture cap male by the dental laboratory. Place a locator impression coping onto each locator implant abutment. Inject a light body vinyl impression material around each impression coping. Take a complete impression using a firm body impression material. The locator impression coping is designed with minimum retention to be picked up with the completed impression. The locator abutment analog is designed with a very precise fit into the locator impression coping, allowing for an accurate transfer for the working model. Snap a locator abutment analog into each impression coping, making sure that they are fully seated. The master cast is poured, incorporating the locator abutment analogs. The abutment analog in the master cast replicates the exact position of the locator abutment in the acrylic model. Place a white blockout spacer over the head of each abutment analog. The spacer is used to block out the immediate area surrounding the locator implant abutment. Snap a locator black processing cap male onto each analog, leaving the white blockout spacer beneath it. Process the males into the denture base with light cured or self curing acrylic resin. Discard the white spacers. Damage to the final male can be avoided by polishing the denture base before changing the black processing males to the final nylon retention liners. Use the male removal tool to remove the black processing male from the metal denture cap. The male removal tool is pressed into the black plastic material to pull it out of the metal housing. The nylon locator replacement male replaces the black processing male for the final seating of the overdenture. The male seating tool is used to place the nylon replacement male into the empty metal denture cap. The replacement male should seat securely into place, level with the rim of the cap. Check the fit of the attachment retained overdenture on the master cast before delivering it into the dental office. The indirect processing of the locator male into the denture by the dental laboratory produces the same accurate result as a direct chairside pickup. The self-aligning ability of the locator implant attachment aids the patient in orienting their prosthesis, which is vital with the existence of a severely resorbed mandibular ridge. This patient that was referred to Dr. Schneider has two externally hexed mandibular implants. The gingival level surrounding the implants was very shallow as can be seen by the hex of the implant extending above the crest of the tissue on the patient's right side. With limited space available, use of the shortest attachment possible was indicated. Locator abutments having the lowest tissue cuff height were placed using the abutment driver. A torque wrench was used for the final tightening to 20 newton centimeters. When placing multiple attachments, snap a parallel post into each seated locator abutment to check the parallelism between implants. For this patient, the locator male was placed into the overdenture using a chair-side procedure. First, a white blockout spacer was placed over the head of each locator abutment. Then, a locator cap with black processing male is snapped onto each locator implant abutment, leaving the white spacer beneath it. Recesses were prepared into the dental base to accommodate the locator males. Light-cured acrylic resin was injected around the metal cap of each processing cap male. The resin can also be injected through the access hole in the denture. The denture was inserted into position in the oral cavity, maintaining the denture in a passive condition, without compression of the soft tissue, while curing with the light. An additional brief curing time on the lingual side of the denture will assure fixation of the locator male into the denture base. The white blockout spacers remained in place when the denture was removed. The white spacers are easily removed with an explorer instrument. Use a burr to remove excess acrylic and polish the denture base before changing to the final nylon male. The locator core tool contains three tools in one. Start with the fully assembled tool for the procedure of replacing the black processing males with the final nylon male. The male removal tool portion of the locator core tool has a sharp circular edge on the end of it. 
push the mail replacement tool into the black plastic mail. The end of the mail removal tool will catch the sides of the black plastic material and pull it straight up and out of the metal housing. Remove the mail removal tool section of the locator core tool to access the mail seating tool portion. Place a nylon locator replacement mail onto the end of the mail seating tool. Use the tool to firmly push the final locator mail nylon liner into the metal denture cap. The overdenture was then ready for delivery to the patient and final adjustments. A beautiful aesthetic result was achieved for this patient using the low profile locator attachments to retain the overdenture. With the incredible retention of locator overdentures, don't be surprised if your patients take up a new hobby like this. Additional information and technical assistance is available from Zest Anchors Incorporated by calling toll-free 1-800-262-2310.